Hey there, Duncan here from Writonic. In this very quick overview video, I'm going to show you how to use the cold email writing feature within Writonic. Cold email is a, an incredibly powerful tool to grow your business, whether you're a freelancer, coach, consultant, or agency owner, it's a very profitable way to get new clients. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing to do is head over to the dashboard and search for cold email. I'm gonna use cold emails v2. And it's gonna ask you to come up with two main things. A goal, what do you wanna achieve with this cold email? Typically that's going to be to book a call, but it could be another action like watch a webinar or something like that. The scenario is what is this email about and why are you sending it now? So for, in this example, I'm going to be sending the initial email to someone completely cold and trying to book a call with them. So this is gonna be from Duncan to Tim Cook. The goal is to book a call. And then the scenario is introduce Write Sonic to Tim and show how it can help Apple grow their sales by helping them to scale their content production using AI. And I'm going to check that I'm doing this in the right language and then click generate emails. It's gonna take a few seconds to come up with three unique cold emails that are going to help me achieve my goal here. So it's gonna take a, a couple of seconds to come up with those and then it's gonna display them on the right. So I've got three here. These look pretty good to start with. So what have we got here? So it's actually picked up some more details about what Write Sonic is, which is quite good. It's also picked up some information about Apple and come up with a potential offer that we could use of having a 30 day trial. And it has this call to action of booking the call. So I think that's pretty good. These are also pretty good as well. There's a couple of details here, like we wouldn't necessarily say content automation bot. So you do have to be aware that some of those details are not necessarily gonna get picked up because the AI is using the knowledge that it has available. Then I like the call to action on this last one. Unfortunately, the rest of it is a bit too general for me. So I would go with these two and then test using the end from this one. But these are all pretty good. And like any of the features within Writesonic, if you click regenerate, then it's gonna give you an entirely new set of, in this case, emails to test. And with cold email, it's really good to test multiple variations. So hopefully that's given you a quick overview. And in the future, we'll create another video where we go a bit more into depth on how you can get the best results using cold email. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for watching this. And if you have any questions, reach out in support or in the Facebook group. Thanks for watching this.